So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys five different ways I like to boost my immune system quick and easy at home. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first way is using an elderberry syrup. Elderberry syrup can be found at like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. And the elderberry herb binds with the H1N1 flu virus and blocks it from entering the cells. It's used to treat colds, flus, and allergies to remove the mucus from the respiratory system. There are six to 35 milligrams of vitamin C per 100 grams of elderberry herb, which accounts for about 60% of your recommended daily intake. There's lots of studies about elderberry and you guys can do your own research and find out what those studies are. But it is said that a lot of people who have flu-like symptoms take elderberry, a teaspoon, tablespoon of elderberry syrup when they start feeling the symptoms come on. And after 24 hours of taking the elderberry syrup, a large percentage of people have have reported improvements within those symptoms within 24 hours of taking the elderberry syrup. Just one cup of elderberry contains 870 milligrams of vitamin A, 406 milligrams of potassium, 52.2 milligrams of vitamin C, 9 milligrams of folate, 55 milligrams of calcium, and 2.32 milligrams of iron. So the way that I incorporate elderberry in my routine is I'll grab a spoonful of my elderberry syrup that I made and then I'll take it in the morning. You do want to be careful because it is packed with vitamin C and for me personally, it does give me a lot of energy so I prefer to take it in the earlier part of the day because I don't want to stay up all night I do have a full recipe and an in-depth process of how I like to make my own elderberry syrup at home and I will go ahead and link the video down below in the description box the third way that I like to boost my immune system at home is using tea infusions or decoctions. Pretty much every herb in my herb collection has some type of health benefit to boost the immune system. I'm going to use herbs like chaparral, sarsaparilla, tila, yellow dock. And chaparral is an antibacterial, anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory, and it treats the respiratory system. But with chaparral, you have to use this for a very short period of time. A lot of these herbs are super powerful. And if you do have uh, other health issues, it can actually trigger something that can be potentially harmful to your body. So you do wanna go ahead and verify before using some of these powerful medicinal herbs. The next herb is sarsaparilla. This is an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and it binds with the toxins in your body to pull them away from the body and the blood. Tila is an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory and it has been used in traditional medicine to support the immune system. It's also great for stress, for anxiety, and also for sleeping at night. So in this time, if you are suffering from any type of anxiety, any type of nervousness, things of that nature, Tila is a really good relaxing herb. Yellow Dock is an antibacterial and an anti-inflammatory, and it has been used to purify the blood and for inflammation of nasal passages and the respiratory tract. Yellow Dock is a super herb, and it's gonna do a whole lot for your body is an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and anti-influenza. This herb is primarily used to remove mucus from the respiratory tract and the lungs. So obviously out of these herbs, yellow dock is gonna be more of a dense herb because it is a root. So first I would take the yellow dock and I would boil it for about 15 to 20 minutes because the remainder of the herbs are more delicate so you'd want to go ahead and infuse them in the water. I have a more detailed video about diffusions and decoctions, and I will go ahead and link that down below in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and get a deeper dive into what that actually means. Basically, certain herbs can only be cooked, heated, boiled, simmered at a certain temperature. After you've reached or surpassed a certain temperature, you're actually stripping it away from its natural medicinal purposes, whether that be minerals, vitamins. So you wanna make sure that you're not overcooking or overboiling or over simmering some of your herbs because you're not gonna get the actual properties in the herbs that you're using them for. The fourth way that I like to go ahead and boost my immune system is taking a Bladderac sea moss shot. Now the way that I like to do this, I like to take 1 4 teaspoon of sea moss powder. Sea moss alone has 96 of the 102 minerals that are in the body. It is very high in iron, soothes irritated mucous membrane from colds, cough, bronchitis, and intestinal problems. Sea moss is also used to support, support joints and healthy skin. It's also used to boost the immune system and reduce inflammation, improve digestion. It's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and a laxative. Sea moss has so many benefits. It has 96 out of the 102 minerals, so you already know it's gonna hook you up with your immune system. 
Next, I like to add one fourth teaspoon of bladderwrack powder. Now, bladderwrack, once again, is another super herb. It's gonna have the remainder of the 102 minerals, making this concoction a shot of 102 minerals that you can take in the morning when you wake up. You can feel the energy go through your body. It also tastes like the ocean, so it's not the most it's not the most enjoyable shot, but it's just a quick shot. And after that, you're good. You have 102 minerals, so you just gotta suck it up. I also like to add one whole lime. I personally am a citrus freak. Like I can eat limes and lemons all by themselves. So this might be too much for somebody who doesn't like citrus, but I like to add a whole lime squeeze. And then I like to add a tiny bit of spring water to kind of uh, easier consistency. I also sometimes do it just with lime. It just kind of depends. But for those of you guys who don't like citrus, using a larger amount of spring water is probably gonna be better for you. But I will say that the lime does help drown out the ocean sea flavor of the sea moss and bladderwrack, just my personal opinion. But bladderwrack is great because it's, high, it's a high source of iodine. It treats iodine deficiency and it treats underactive or oversized thyroid. It's rich in calcium, magnesium, potassium, and it can also help with weight loss. One 580 milligram supplement contains 155% of the iodine recommended daily value. It's also anti-candida, antibacterial, and an anti-tumor. When I'm telling y'all I've lost an unnecessary amount of weight and I have been taking herbs, I will say that I can't pinpoint exactly which herb has allowed me to lose amount of weight, but bladderwrack has worked for others. So if you guys are looking for like a weight loss supplement, that can also help you as well. And it can also allow you to boost your immune system and get your 102 minerals when taking these two together. The second way I like to boost my immune system at home is using a fresh juice compact with a lot of minerals, nutrients, and fresh fruits and vegetables. Celery is great because it's packed with vitamin C, beta carotene, and flavonoids. And there are at least 12 additional antioxidants in a single stock of celery. It's also packed with vitamin A, vitamin K, and vitamin C, and minerals like potassium, folate, magnesium, and iron. The majority of this drink is going to have celery. So I put anywhere from like five to six stocks and I like to break them up in half depending on the size. And next for liquid, I like to add fresh squeezed orange juice. Oranges are great because once again, they're packed with a lot of vitamin C and one orange can offer 116% of the daily recommended dose of vitamin C. Vitamin C is also super important boosting up your immune system and keeping away things like colds and flus. Typically, I like to use anywhere from one to two oranges. You can also mix this with water if you like. And I also like to add lime juice to this. Limes are great because once again, they are packed with vitamin C. Having a fresh shot of, a single shot of lime in the morning can help boost your immune system. It's packed with vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B, and vitamin D. It also contains potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Then for just a little bit of sweetness, I like to add a tiny bit of mango. It is also packed with vitamin A and it can help alkalize the body. And about a half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon of fresh ginger. Ginger can be a little bit strong, fiery, spicy to some people, so do this to taste. I personally don't mind ginger, so I like to put half a tablespoon of ginger into my drink. And ginger root is great because it burns the toxins out of the body, it helps improve your circulation. It also can aid in cellulite and it removes the mucus from the lungs and the respiratory system. The last way I like to boost my immune system, and it might sound corny, but I swear exercising helps so much. Not only does exercising boost your immune system, but it can also help you with stress and it can also help you with sleeping. Those three things are so important to your immune system, especially right now, keeping a very clear mind is very important. And I personally like to do a little bit of exercise in the morning right when I wake up. And I've been doing my 10 minute ab workout, which I actually have on YouTube. I will go ahead and put it down below. It's 10 minutes, it's 45 seconds on and 15 off. And then it goes into the next exercise. But waking up and just loving on your body and, and releasing the stress in your body and sweating does so much for the immune system. Another thing that I like to do throughout the day is listen to audiobooks. Also using aromatherapy around your house and a diffuser when you sleep to help you relax. Audiobooks are nothing new on my channel. I know you guys always hear me talk about audiobooks. 
They have so much to choose from. They have comedy, they have podcasts, they have audiobooks, they have something for everyone on Audible. But in this time specifically, I feel like it's so important for people to look within. So I, like every other time, like to stick to my genre of self-help, self-improvement, self-love, and things like that. The audiobook that I have been listening to is Return to Love. This audiobook has the famous quote, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Go ahead and insert quote here. What holds us back in our lives is our fear. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant? It was also the quote that was on Coach Carter. The biggest thing that has helped me with this self-quarantine is just listening to positive things. As I'm working out or in the morning when I'm cooking or throughout the day when I'm just chilling around the house, just listen to the audiobook. You can literally finish a whole book in one day. Have someone, have something speak positivity into your life in this time. So if you guys are interested in Audible, you guys can go ahead and click the link down below and go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text findguru to 500-500. I will have all the links down below in the description box. Yeah, guys, so that's basically my five ways that I like to boost my immune system at home. If you guys have any other ways that you like to boost your immune system, go ahead and put them down below. If you have any questions about any of the things that I mentioned in the video or you want more in-depth answers on some of these points, go ahead and reference to the description box. I will go ahead and link some of the videos that I already have up down below. Let's use the comment section as a way to inspire or encourage others, especially in this time. Don't forget that if you guys are interested in listening to some positivity and some great audiobooks, go ahead and go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text find guru to 500 500 thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next upload bisous